tickle to go have steaks with the guys, and I don't want Lois to know about it. Um, okay. Lois, I'm going to my physical now. Okay, honey, I'll see you later. Um, what, what the hell, I'll just ask it. Why do we need the horse suit for that? Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. All right, that's... that's seven sixteen-ounce steaks. Oh, come on, Joe. You haven't even finished one. I mean, that guy had two. I know, I know. I'm terrible. Which is why I'm gonna order the cheesecake. Oh, I can't do it. I'm... I'm so full. Full of what? Estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you pansy. Oh. Let's go. Chow down, Mary Jane. Oh, I said I can't. Eat it. Eat no. the damn steak. Come on, what are you I waiting can't. for? Eat it, Joe. No, Eat no, it. no. Yeah. I said I'm not hungry! Where is it now, huh? Where is it now? Easy, sailor. Easy. Put the gun down, Joe. Yeah, nobody's judging you, man. It's cool. I'll just put this back in your purse next to your tampons. All right, let's start the bidding. Jennifer, how much do you bid on the dinette set? Um, six seventy-five, Bob. Six seventy-five, Stephen. Uh, seven eighty. Seven eighty, Tammy. What was the last bid? Seven eighty. Seven eighty-one. Fuck you. Hi, honey. How was your physical? Uh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, too good, matter of fact. You know, you know what the doctor said? Doctor said I was too healthy. You know, in 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 too good of shape. Don't even know how. Too good of shape. You didn't go to your physical, did you? Uh, I did not. So, Doctor, is Peter healthy? My goodness, you'll be dead within a month. What? what? Oh, Hagar the Horrible, if you keep up that lifestyle of pillaging and giant turkey legs, you'll be dead within a month. Now, on to you. So, what do you think? Pretty healthy, eh? Well, Mr. Griffin, let's take a look at your physical results. Ah! <gasps> There's a spider in here! Now, here we go. Mr. Griffin, you're going to expire in a month. <gasps> this is your driver's license, isn't it? Now, unfortunately, I'm afraid you're going to die. <gasps> when you watch these Dean Martin celebrity roasts... Will you just tell us how Peter's health is? Uh, Mr. Griffin, I'm not quite sure how to say this. Kim Bassinger? Ba Basinger? Ba Basinger? Basinger? Oh. But now, on to the cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. You are a cancer, right? You were born in July? Now, on to these test results. My, they're much worse than I thought. Oh. My son got a D minus on his history test. Now, Mr. Griffin, that liver's got to come out. What? It's been in the microwave for three minutes. It'll get dry. Now. Please. Please. We can't take any more shtick. Please just tell us, is Peter healthy? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just really fat. Oh, thank God. Wait, wait, wait. Hang, hang, hang on a second. Did you just say I was fat? Well, uh, yeah, you, you are pretty fat. Um... Okay, this is news to me. Uh, boy, this is more awkward than having sex with a rhinoceros who doesn't love you anymore. Why wouldn't you look at me during? <laughs> hey, how was your physical? Stupid doctor said I was fat. Can you believe that, idiot? Well, oh, Peter, you are on the large side. Oh, please, Brian. If I was fat, could I do this with a hula hoop? No, 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 I guess, I guess you couldn't do that if you were fat. Careful, Peter, that's an old family photo. My mother gave it to me. Huh, that's weird. I didn't know you had a brother. I don't. I mean, I don't think so. Hey, if I'm fat, then Stewie's fat too, because we wear the same size onesie. Hello, Pumpkin. Hello, Daddy. Did I miss your piano recital? No, Daddy. I'm in my 40s now. Good God! I had a question I wanted to ask. Um, do I have a brother? Uh, 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 no, 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 no don't be silly. Because I found this picture and... Uh, 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 oh, Dick, thank God you're here. Talk to her. Message CM27. The subscriber you are trying to reach is unavailable or outside the calling area. What do you feel like doing later? Message CM42. Let's go pay some hookers to knock our junk around. 
Are you sure this is a good idea? Daddy's never gonna tell me the truth. The only way to find out is to check the family records. Ah, breaking into Grandma and Grandpa's house. This is more exciting than that time I saw Bobby McFerrin fall down all those stairs. Cool. Wait, what are you doing? They're sleeping in here. Oh, please. They get so doped up on sleeping pills and liquor, an earthquake wouldn't wake them up. My God, how does she sleep at night knowing she has to funnel this old duffer's hog? <gasps> this is it. Patrick Pewterschmidt, 56 Meadow Lane, Brookfield. I do have a brother. Oh, my God, I've got to meet him. Oh, hey, Brian, you know what would be fun? Oh, God, totally. Yeah! Awesome! awesome! You know, sometimes the old-fashioned playthings are the best. Hey, kids of America, it's hand-painted wooden ball in a cup. Who needs constant electronic video stimulation when there's ball in a cup? Mexico's favorite toy for over 340 years. Toss the ball, catch it in the cup, dump it out of the cup, toss it, and catch it in the cup again. The ball is on a string and attached to the cup, so there's no worry if you don't catch the ball in the cup, and cleanup is as easy as catching a ball in a cup. So why spend another day not catching a ball in a cup when you could be catching a ball in a cup? Ball in a cup, ball in a cup, it's a ball in a cup. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool in a cup, ball in a cup. Peter, I think maybe you're in denial about this fat thing. Oh, yeah? Well, I challenge you to prove to me that I'm fat. Uh, okay, hang on. See this? Yeah. You know what it is? Uh, duh, it's an apple. Good, good, good. All right, watch this. What the hell? What is this? What is this, some kind of gag? Uh, no, that's orbit. Huh? You have your own gravitational pull. Oh, that's a bunch of crap. Now back to the Three Stooges. Oh, can you believe I'm about to meet my long-lost brother? Maybe Dateline will do a story on us, huh? I'll get to meet that pompous ass, Stone Phillips. He's the kind of guy you hate till he's inside you. There it is, 56 Meadow Lane. Brookfield Insane Asylum? <gasps> oh my god, Mom's brother's crazy! Oh no, I didn't catch the ball in the cup. Oh, wait a minute, it's okay, because the ball is on a string and attached to the cup. Doctor, is my brother really insane? Mrs. Griffin, we don't use the word insane. We prefer the term mentally hilarious. Ooh, I can't wait to meet the lunatic. I bet he's even weirder than that commercial I saw. Hey, is that that new butter substitute? It sure is. Is it true it has half the calories of butter or margarine with all the great taste? Yep. Can I have some? Get your own. Take that, you bitch! No! Oh, what the hell? How'd you like that? Hey, joke's on you, I have hepatitis. <laughs> Patrick? Yes? My name's Lois. I'm your sister. Oh, my God, Lois. I never thought I'd see you again. These are my children. Why do you live in a crazy house, Uncle Patrick? Well, when I was just a little boy, I had a very traumatic experience. Mommy, can I have a drink of water? <gasps> Jackie Gleason! Beat it, kid. Your mother's busy. Hamina, 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 pow! Right in the kitchen! Oh, that's a horrible story. Yes, I was so traumatized, they sent me here, and I guess they must have forgotten about me. Well, you seem perfectly normal to me. And no brother of mine is going to be cooped up in some insane asylum. We are taking you back to Quahog with us. Oh, that's a great idea. Maybe he can bring his sling blade and order up some French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Thank God I'm out of that hospital. It's great to be eating lunch with my family instead of a bunch of chronic masturbators. Those people are disgusting. Is it lonely up there on your pedestal, Patrick? Oh, Peter, there you are. This is my brother, Patrick. Yeah, yeah, good to meet you, Patrick. All right, listen up, everybody. I have something to tell you. I'm not quite sure how to say this. I'm fat. Let me give you a minute to absorb that. That's the way it is. It's nobody's fault, Meg. But I've decided to do something about it. Oh, great. You gonna drop some weight, fat ass? No, dummy. 
I'm going to help make this a fat man's world by establishing the National Association for the Advancement of Fat People. This is the best idea I've had since I slayed that dragon.